Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Sephora haul for you guys. I recently just visited New York as well as some other little places in the East Coast and every time I visit New York, I know that I have to save up my money because Times Square Sephora is humongous. I have a bunch of goodies to share with you guys. So not everything from this haul is from Sephora. I also picked up a few things from Kiko as I was there. Let's not waste any time and see the goodies. It was my birthday in December and the lady was so sweet enough to still offer me a gift even though it was January. I picked the Caudalie um, Skincare Duo. It comes with their Vinosource Moisturizing uh, Lotion and also the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. I've been wanting to get the serum for quite a while now, but I don't know. I have, I think, um, I'm using up this other serum, but I hate it. I do not like it personally. It just wasn't my favorite. The serum is pretty nice. It's a 10 milliliter bottle and I think that it's the perfect little size to travel with and I think it's a very good size for a sample. I can definitely get a lot of use out of it and see if I like the product. The uh, moisturizing cream is not one of my favorites. I don't think it moisturizes my skin that much. My skin just like drinks this baby up. So not really that impressed with the moisturizing cream, but so far I really like the serum. Um, haven't noticed any major like results with it. I've been using it for about a week. Next thing I picked up was this Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. So unlike a regular dry shampoo that comes in a spray bottle, this really finely milled white powder, like baby powder, says to use on the bottle is you're supposed to basically take this and then put it like on your roots, like directly. I have very dark hair. I have technically black hair and when I did that the first time, it just didn't work out for me, literally made my hair white and no matter how much I tried to like massage it in and blend it in, it still would not work. So how I like to use this product is I take some out on the palm of my hand, rub my hands together and then just kind of like massage it throughout my hair and I think that this is an amazing dry shampoo. I have tried so many dry shampoos. I've tried, let's see, the Lush one, I've tried the Batiste one. I have tried a lot of dry shampoos and honestly I do not like any of them. Now this one, if your hair gets really oily, not because your hair is dirty but just because you have a dry scalp and you have oily hair like me, then no dry shampoo I feel like on this planet can help that. However, second to third hair day when, you know, my hair is pretty fresh from like the bottom but my roots are starting to get really oily and flat, I like to use this product then and it just like instantly revitalizes my hair and brings it back to life and a lot of volume as well. So I really do like this product. I got the little tiny baby version of this. It was $10 and just so I could try it out, see how I like it. Next thing that I picked up was this Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. This is the mini version. It really comes with their like little velour puff as well. And the reason that I got the smaller version is A, because it was cheaper and B, because I had the big uh, translucent tub before it got all the hype that's the one that I actually used to use I've had that pow that huge powder for about three years and it finally ran out I really did like it but honestly it wasn't like life-changing for me I felt like I got a lot of use out of my other powders and pressed powder like the Charlotte Tilbury one is my favorite I use it constantly even just to set my under eyes it's amazing so I didn't really have the need to go back and purchase the translucent powder however I was like you know what I can't bake with my Charlotte Tilbury one. I do not use this all over my face. I just use it to set my eyes and occasionally bake, probably like underneath my contour to give me a chiseled look. I feel like this little tub can last me like a year or probably a little bit more. This Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. This liquid lipstick was on my list ever since these first came out, but every time I went into Sephora, this shade was always always sold out. It's in the shade Stepping Out and it's just like this perfect like nudie brown color. It's This is like my perfect nude. I will never go lighter than this nude but I just think it's so beautiful and I love like the hint of brown that it formula is definitely a lot more whipped and a lot more moussey but it's just as drying as any other liquid lipstick. It's definitely as drying as my Anastasia liquid lipsticks so they have like kind of like the same formula and the same moisturization 
but I do really like this and I think the color is just so, so the next stunning. Thing that I got, I'm so excited because this has been on my list forever and when I went into Sephora, I was like, okay, I have to search for these and I'm so glad that I got this. This was the final one left and I just kind of like grabbed it, I snatched it. Check this out, I've always wanted to do this. The Huda Beauty Lashes and these are the Samantha number no. sevens. Definitely the most popular around Instagram and YouTube. But the reason that I got Samantha is only and only because, like, it's they're so beautiful. It's definitely a dramatic wispy. They're just so fluttery and beautiful, and I think that they can make any eye look just look so complete. I have not worn these yet, but I'm so excited to wear these, and I'm probably going to be so stingy by, like, how many times I wear them. Paying a ridiculous amount for false lashes is crazy. These were about, I believe, $18.00. And I know that there's more expensive ones on the market, but it's just, I was like, oh my god, I'm paying 20 bucks for a pair of falsies. Like, I have my own eyelashes. But I just now got into wearing false eyelashes like a couple of months ago, and I think this year I definitely want to be more comfortable with them and wear them a lot more. She's just amazing. She's definitely girl crush, so I had to support had to support her. For a 100 point perk, I decided to get the Pore Vanishing Stick by Estee Edit. This is actually a really good size for a 100 point perk sample. I love the Estee Edit's packaging. I think it's so stunning. If I ever had a makeup brand, I think it would be something like this just because navy blue is just like my favorite color ever. So the stick looks like this. It's basically white um, all around with like a nude circle right in the center and I, I don't know what's up with that but it's pretty good i have used this a couple of times and how i like using this is just put this right underneath my eyes before applying my concealer kind of makes those lines a lot more smooth and gives it it gives the concealer something to hold on to and not hold on to those lines under your eye. And then I also just put it around like this area, my nose, and then around my mouth. Wherever I feel like I have some sort of lines where I don't want foundation to kind of sink into. But this product that I got, um, I didn't get this at Sephora, I got this at Ulta. I don't think Sephora has this yet. This is the Tarte BB Shape Tape Concealer. This is so hyped up here and I really wanted to try out what was all the fuss about my NARS Creamy Radiant which you guys know is my holy grail concealer um that one is finishing up and literally I have to like scrape the sides to get the product out and so I really wanted to try this one I have this in the shade medium the shade matches me perfectly I can actually use it all over my face so it doesn't give me that much of a highlighted look but I really like the yellow undertone that this has if you're having trouble hiding your under eye circles or even a blemish on your face please go get this concealer this is so hyped up on youtube and honestly i think it's it has every right to be hyped up i'm not going to go so much in depth about this product because i am going to have a video coming up where i will be talking more in depth all right about you guys this. so that is everything that i got from sephora i want to show a little bit more products that i got i decided to pick up some Kiko products because they have a Kiko store which if you guys know what Kiko is I think it's mainly like a European brand but it's starting to venture out in the United States as well and there's only like I think two or three stores in the United States as a whole. I live in Northern California so we don't have any Kiko stores you can only get them online. Kiko makeup is definitely one of my favorite affordable makeup products. If you can get your hands on Kiko please do and try out their products because I think that they're pretty good. I think they're really good for the price. First thing is this lipstick. It's the Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick in the shade 320. And this is what I've got on my lips right now. Check out this packaging. It's so good. I believe this lipstick was like $10 or so. Maybe... I know it's less than $10. It's either 10 or less. It's like a medium brown shade. Spice from MAC. And... Uh, stripped down from MAC, the lip liners, had a baby, it would be this lipstick. It's a neutral toned brown, definitely. So that is a swatch of it. And these lipsticks are so creamy and so velvety. I, I don't know, like I'm wearing it right now and I have such dry lips because, you know, it's winter. This just makes it so comfortable for me to wear matte lipstick. So if I definitely do not want to wear a liquid lipstick, I go for this and it gives me that matte uh, look and it has a beautiful I mean it's just amazing guys you need this lipstick in your life the other two things that I got are both cheek products the first one is this velvet touch uh, creamy stick blush I've never tried like a stick blush before 
Um, I've always, I love cream blushes, but I've never tried like a stick blush. So this was my first one. And honestly, what intrigued me about this product was the color. It is a neutral mauve shade. It's so smooth to the texture. It's, you know, supposed to be velvet touch and I couldn't agree more. Lighting is kind of off. It's definite, it looks a lot more brown in the camera, but it's definitely a lot more pink. I don't know what's about this product, but it goes on so smooth on your cheeks and it doesn't emphasize like your pores. So the final product that I got from Kiko is their shade Fusion Trio Blush. If you watch Alana Davison on YouTube, then you guys probably know that she really likes this blush a lot and actually got it because of her. I don't know if this is the shade she got. Um, I have the shade number one, but I think it is. It's, again, that new neutral mauve color. I've been in, on the hunt for, like, that perfect neutral blush. There's three shades. There's a really nude shade and then a, like medium brown shade and then a dusty rose shade the packaging of this is so cool it's that same like magnetic closure it's really heavy and then um, this blush was a little bit more expensive than what kiko usually offers i believe it was 15 dollars. okay guys so that wraps up my beauty haul i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um hope you found some really cool products i always have such a good time just like sitting in front of the camera and showing you guys everything that i got and stuff i really hope that you guys found some stuff interesting give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will most likely see you guys in my next video bye